Welcome to Business Live. I'm Mark Crossgray in BL tonight. First up, we got Access Financial leading microfinance house right here in Jamaica. Not making as much waves as they used to, but nothing's wrong with that. Sometimes it's a good it's a good time just to you know be quiet, get things done. The microfinance sector it's a tough sector right now. We've seen Lasco Financial, we've seen a few others, ISP Finance, not having the best or the great you know results that they used to have. You know credit provisions, the market, the economy right now it's a tough time. You know before. COVID, that trend was happening with COVID now, you know, expect, you know, those declines to happen. But some good news here, Access Financial declaring a dividend, it's eight cents per share. So, you know, the board meeting was October 29th, they got the dividend rolling. The payment date is going to be November 27th, right around the corner, 2020. Four shareholders, Access, we've always been seeing it, you know, growed or has, you know, really grown into a nice dividend paying stock, similar to Carreras, a few others on the market. Lots of them emerging, Supreme Ventures as well. But Access will see how their dividend goes going forward. Now, speaking of Supreme Ventures, declaring a dividend also, and it's a juicy one, folks. SVL, you know, they made that clear. We you know when this deal happened, you know, Mayberry got into the company, MIL, and, uh, you know, all their related parties, etc. And the point is, is the dividends keep coming and they keep coming persistently, you know, keeping their word here. So dividend amount here by SVL, 20 cents per share, nice dividend, declared payable in time for Christmas, December 4th, 2020. General Insurance, Iron Rock Insurance, some trading in their shares, a purchase or a buy, so more skin in the game here, always a great sign to see. And Iron Rock, you, you tend to see this once they're not in the blackout period, you know, the results are out, whether it's quarterly, semi-annual or so forth, and the results come out and you see some buying, whether it's a director or a connected party. In this case, a purchase of a total just under 700,000 shares, 693,678 units on October 22nd and October 26th. 2020. Now, big chemical company here also gone into some oil lubricants, a few other businesses, bleach and so forth. Paramount Trade in Jamaica coming up with an interesting advisory cancellation of the live streaming option for the annual general meeting AGM 2020. They make it clear here in the press release on the Jamaica Stock Exchange. So their AGM is coming up November 28th, 2020. You're no, no longer going to have the option for live streaming via the internet and Zoom. So they, they, they really ask that note this change uh, for all of the public and disregard any reference that they had to this in their materials and you're invited to attend physically and responsibly at their AGM coming up. Last up, and the big news for Business Life or BL tonight, the markets, US markets having one of their worst weeks this week, the Dow Jones, S&P 500 and so forth since March, really getting hammered. Two things really causing it, the tech, you know, the tech market not doing as well based on their earnings. Amazon, an anomaly. Amazon doing fantastic. We're going to talk about that next week in Business Live and those, you know, great earnings. But Apple, Apple really faltering and a few other, you know, tech companies. Now, Apple maybe gets a bligh. You know, what analysts are saying, a lot of people are waiting for the iPhone 12, the new model of iPhones. So persons kind of held off on buying, which hurt Apple's earnings. And the C19, the COVID cases, you know, surpassing out 88,000 cases. We were just talking about 70 something thousand cases a week, two weeks ago in the US and, you know, reaching those July highs. Well, we have boomed way past that. We don't want to talk about, you know, huge numbers with, you know, C19 or COVID like it's a stock market, but it's a serious thing. 88,000 cases already and more, you know, talking about lockdown in some, you know, European countries already, uh, France, you know, and uh, maybe a few others on the way. So the point here is, is that the Dow kind of slumping, you know, we, we were well above 28,000 points. Now below that, below 27,000 points, we'll see what happens. So two big factors, let's go over them. C19, the pandemic cases really jumping in the US, probably some election jitters as well too. So three things actually, and the tech earnings not as good as they thought. But Amazon, the anomaly, we'll talk about that next week. I'm Mark Crosker. This is Business Life.